Hello, my name is J.B. Avance. I'm editor of Oil, Gas, and Petrochem Equipment here at Penwell. Today I'm here with Mike Calloway, president and CEO of Caltech Global LLC. This company offers H2S0 for treatment of sour gas. I'm pleased for Mike and I to be able to learn about the applications and more about the company. Mike, tell us who Caltech Global LLC is and its mission. Well, first of all, thank you, JB, for having me here today. And Caltech Global was founded in 2002 as a research and development company that was focused on developing a new sour gas treatment technology, which is based on a dry granular media that's formulated with iron oxide. What is sour gas and why must it be treated, Mike? Well, JB, sour gas is a term used to describe any gases or vapors that contain hydrogen sulfide. You probably all have driven by your local sewer plant and smelled the uh, obnoxious odor of H2S, also known as rotten egg gas. The uh, odor is created at, usually at these sewer treatment plants by the bacteria that's breaking down the organic matter in the waste material. The reason H2S needs to be removed or scavenged is that it is, a, is lethal in relatively small concentrations, say 700 to 1,000 parts per million, and it is very corrosive to metals. Can you give us some of your oil industry background and experiences? Well, I have a degree in chemistry and I've been in the uh, oil field chemistry uh, industry for over 35 years. The uh, majority of my time was spent doing research and development on sulfide scavenging processes, and particularly the liquid processes using triazine chemistry. With your considerable experience in H2S scavenger technology, why focus on the dry granular iron oxide technology? Well, during my research, I discovered that there was a need for a new and improved version of the dry medium uh, technology, and that there was only one competitor. So I figured if I could improve on the technology, uh, 10 to 30 percent, Caltech Global would be very successful. And with our new H2S0 technology, we are 300 to 500 percent more effective than our competitor. Mike, why don't you define your markets for H2S0, please? Well, currently, our customers are oil and gas companies that are producing sour gas, which must be treated before they can sell the gas to the pipelines. Now, other markets include landfill gas and biogas, such as sewer plants and anaerobic digestion systems. Most importantly, Mike, how is H2S0 employed? Well, JB, to utilize our technology, you have to have a vertical pressure vessel. Uh, here's a scale model of such a vessel. So it has a fill port in the top, it has a gas inlet near the top. You can see the media in the material in the vessel here and the clean out port once it's saturated where you would remove it. The gas will flow in the top, down through the media, and out the side and to the sales line. So the gas will come in here sour, it'll go down and chemically react with the H2, uh, H2S and the iron oxide forming iron sulfide. Once the media is spent, you will shut the vessel in, open it up, clean out through the clean out port, and then you would refill through the top by utilizing the super sacks that it's packaged in. It comes in 2,000 pound uh, super sacks. Mike, could you cite an example of one of your applications? Well, one of our customers was using their competitive product and they were consistently getting a runtime of 45 days. They decided to put our H2S0 material in, in the same vessel under the same conditions and we lasted 252 days, which is over five times as long. H2S0 also is less dense than the competitive materials, so it takes less material to fill a, the same size vessel and so you have less material to purchase and less material to dispose of. Mike, thanks for your time and the valuable sour gas treatment information today. To learn more about H2S0, go to www.caltechglobal.com. Thank you.